speaking at Farm Tripoli near Leonardsville, Dr. Opindi said that after a thorough assessment with the investor and regional leaders on the revival of the project, it's high time that proven scientific analysis comes into effect. Dr. Opindi adds that both agriculture and mining should coexist to better the living standards of many local people. This is a multi-billion dollar opportunity that is here. We can't allow it to just be sabotaged or be just wasted because people have differences of opinion. I just don't support that. And definitely the committee is going to look deeper into it uh, as to why uh, the, the water permit has been, you know, pulled back and, and four years later it has not been reissued and people are not in, in, informed by scientific evidence, geophysical evidence, rather is, is opinionated. Um, and that just, that's just not something that will entertain as a committee. Omaheke governor says local people should benefit from investments coming to their areas, adding that it is expected from national leaders to advise and provide guidance. We allow these people to do exploration and do testing. A laboratory has been put up there that can, for example, facilitate this testing and we all can say, oh, oh what? we're moving in a danger zone and we stop it if, if we see that there is really a danger. But in the absence of any scientific evidence, we can do nothing. The Uranium One company, which is situated in the Leonardsville area, aims to extract uranium using in-situ recovery technology, which is considered to be more environmental friendly. The project plans to invest close to $8 billion required for the operation license. Uranium One plans to commence with mining operations by 2029 after completing the prospecting and exploration phase by 2026. All work at the site have been at a standstill for the past four years now.